Barb, could you, for a minute, um, you don't have to address your opponent by name, but could you give us two or three reasons if somebody's sitting here watching and making their decision today uh, based upon this show, what are the things that separate you from your opponent, the main things? Well, I think that I have a, a real sensitivity to uh, environmental issues. I do come from a rural um, background. I do understand the concept of stewardship for our land and our people. And I think that has been lacking on our county board and that we need to not say comments like buyer beware when people go and bring up issues to the board uh, regarding water safety. Um, I, I think that's short-sighted. I think that I would go and bring a new voice, some change and awareness that we have to go and address environmental issues now. Um, another thing that I think I bring to the board is extensive uh, experience in going and creatively addressing the needs of vulnerable adults and uh, uh, families and children, and particularly going and helping children from low-income families. That is something that I've advocated for strongly on the school board, and I feel that I've been very effective in doing so and uh, something that I have uh, made my life's work uh, through uh, the different fundraising and grants and uh, uh, program creation that I've done over the years. And then finally, I think that it's important to know that I'm fiscally conservative. I come from a uh, 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 fiscally conservative part of the state, Northeast Nebraska. Uh, we tend to be a pay-as-you-go type people and I think that's what we need here. I'm very concerned that the jail budget is one that uh, has been formed by the present county board as a, a philosophy of, well, we think that the public can bear $65 million, so we'll create a budget to meet that. And that is not how you do things. You analyze your, your needs, you go and you get the most cost-effective designs together, and you look at how you're going to fund it you don't back into a budget. And I'm very concerned that that's what's been happening. And I would make it a priority to uh, place uh, uh, more value on our uh, tax dollars here in, in Lincoln and Lancaster County, the rural areas as well. Well, that makes sense to me. Maybe it'll make sense mm -hmm. to some of our viewers. Um, can we talk a little bit about your actual campaign itself? Sure. Uh, you're well into it now. How's it been going? Uh, what needs do you have? And maybe remind people one more time how to get a hold of you. Sure. Well, it's been a really fun campaign. I've gotten to know a lot of people, make a lot of new friends. And that's something that I really enjoy. I've also had an uh, opportunity to talk with people and become more educated about issues. Um, uh, I, the issue of the environment has been something that the constituents contacting me have gone and educated me about. It's something I feel passionately about, but they have really educated me about how it's affecting our community, our rural county. So that's been exciting. We've been doing a lot door to door, door knocking, phone calling, uh, the usual meet and greets, things of that nature. Um, and we've been able to uh, 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 forge new alliances with a lot of different groups. And I guess how you can help this campaign is, is that when we do that door-to-door -door outreach, which I think is the most important thing that we can do, is to listen to our citizens in this city and in the rural areas of our county. I need those volunteers to help me go and spread the word about my campaign and to listen to people and bring back their thoughts and ideas so that we can incorporate them into the campaign and hopefully into serving for public office. What I really want to bring to the Lancaster County Board is someone who's going to listen and then react and respond to what people are saying because those are our needs that have to happen. And you can contact me through uh, www.buyer4commissioner.com. Barb, we're getting down to the last few minutes of our show today and um, how can you, 
I guess in your own life, um, as you personalize yourself, so you're not just the candidate, but you're also Barb, mm -hmm. um, who are some people that you've looked up to throughout life and some people that have kind of inspired you to make a difference in your community? Um, you know, on a personal level, Beatty Brash. I worked for Beatty for a number of years, but I'll tell you, Beatty is an inspiring woman. She uh, takes that uh, uh, corporate uh, management style, uh, which is not soft, it's tough, um, and brings it into the nonprofit world to go and answer the needs of people in need. And I think that is refreshing. She's been a role model to me personally um, uh, as a woman in a professional world. Um, she's broken a lot of barriers. Um, another person I really admire is Helen Basalis. Talk about somebody who broke the glass ceiling before we were even talking about the glass ceiling. <laughs> Helen was there, and she's been an inspiration to women here in Lincoln and Nebraska, but throughout the country, and, and I, I, I really appreciate um, her leadership and, and uh, the path that she has blazed for us all. Um, and then I guess um, uh, my parents, my parents uh, 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 have always been there. I, my mother was a career woman. And uh, I lost her when I was young, and then I was single parented by my father. And I'll tell you, I have nothing but admiration for my parents. And, and uh, my father was a farmer, and that is a really hard job. And talk about being a gambler. You, every time it rains, it hails. <laughs> Whatever it is, you're taking a gamble. So um, yeah, those would be the people that have influenced me quite a bit. Well, Barb, thank you for your time, mm -hmm. and uh, thank you for all of the work you've done in our community, and mm -hmm. of course for your volunteerism with the Democratic Party. Mm -hmm. uh, this has been uh, The Watchful Citizen, www.lancastercountydemocrats.org. Barbara Beyer for County Commissioner. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>